Hello, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the intersection elements command in the surface design of the Katia V5. So I'm going to open up the file. So uh, intersection can be done with uh, two curves or a curve and a surface, a surface and a surface, a surface and a part. So I'm going to show uh, each of them one by one. So I'll start with the curves. So I'm going to make two curves in two different planes. So this is my first first curve and I'm going to make the next curve now. Uh, say it, it is supposed to be there in this plane. So I'm going to select this plane. So let this be our second plane. So I'm come on, coming out. So projection, I mean intersection. One, two. Okay. Select points or curve click OK. So, so keep all the sub-elements, click OK. So this is the intersection which has been created when two curves are meeting. Now let's see what happens when I, uh, when I, when I intersect two curves which are going to coincide. So I'll select this, give sketch, I'm gonna make one sketch like this coming out <coughs> and I'm gonna make a sketch which is gonna coincide with this sketch and let's see how the intersection looks like so each one of them are having its own importance so uh, pay attention to it and let's see how it works out so just imagine if I want the line from here to here and I want to do something with it so I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the intersection here and the first element second element so just click the preview so you're gonna get some error it's not a problem click OK so the intersection here is just this part so right now it, now you can use it for your further uh, further operations whatever it is so click the direction you can use it so whatever so this is how you're gonna work with intersection with uh, two curves now let's see what happens if I uh, create two surfaces which are going to intersect. So before that I'll create one curve and one surface. So this is my first curve and uh, here uh, I'm going to have my uh, cylinder. So cylinder. Uh, let me put some big radius here so that it intersects. So let's see. Intersects very well. So let's see the intersection element 1 element 2 let's see where it intersects so you can see here the points are being created here and here and that's where the curve meets the surface so now let's see what happens if I uh, create two surfaces which I want to meet together so it's gonna be two surfaces now so let me make the first sketch this is going to be my first sketch extrusion of around 40 now the second set sketch is supposed to be falling on the first sketch supposed to be intersecting and uh, give a smaller one around 20 so I can better explain this tool here so so you can see here this is the intersection so I need this particular intersection what I'll do I'll go to the projection I mean intersection select one and two and uh, click the preview click OK so here we go I have the line being created here now let me show you one more stuff here so I'm gonna I'm gonna intersect a surface and a part body a solid body so let me just uh, create a surface here come out of the sketch give around some uh, 50 click OK and uh, let me create another one so for that I'm going to use the part design and I'm going to come to the sketch once again here and here I'm going to use part design so click OK give around 30 click OK so let's see what happens if I 
do the pr intersection here. So where is the intersection tool? Go to the wireframe and surface design, select the intersection. So one and two. Let's see what happens. If I select the contour, what happens is I click OK. This wherever this meets with this surface is is being selected. So if I just uh, hide this particular part body, you can exactly see what happens here. This is the intersection which is being done by the part body. Now let's see, we know the part body is a filled solid. So if I select here, instead of contour, if I select the surface, and if I click the preview, click OK, what happens here is this surface, this part is completely touching the surface and I've selected the, the surface option in the intersection here. So what happens here is exactly I'll hide this and I'll show you. The complete surface is being selected as the intersection. So these are the various possibilities with the tool intersect elements in the surface design. So I hope you this video is going to help you a lot in the further assignments. So subscribe me and uh, feel very free to ask me doubts, comment and like and you know so on. Thank you.